I'm a married man. What do you think? Do you think that I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? You think I've beaten my wife, do you? <laughs> You're teasing me. I haven't actually beaten my wife, but I have made her cry before. You see these lips? Do you think these lips have ever said bad words, hateful words before? What do you think? They have actually, yeah. You see these eyes? Imagine everything I've seen in my life went on this window here. Do you think I'd be ashamed of anything I've ever seen before? What do you think? Yeah, everyone would, you're right. But then ask me this question. What's your name, sorry? Stu. Chichu. Chichu. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've done wrong. But let me tell you this. There are two types of people that get to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now, none of us are perfect, as you've just admitted. I'm not, and I'm guessing you're not either. But we can all be forgiven because 2,000 years ago, God's son died on the cross. They put a crown of thorns into his skull. They pierced his hands and his feet. He died there on that cross, taking the sins of the world so that you and I can be forgiven. So if we come to him, just like a gift at Christmas, it's free, we can receive this gift of salvation and know that our sins are forgiven. Do you know what happened to Jesus after he died on the third day? You're right, he did. He rose from the dead. And that's why he is the only one who can promise that he can forgive our sins. That's why he's the only one who can say, I can give you a home in heaven. And my question to you and my friend here is, do you know that you're going to heaven when you die? Have you put your trust in it? Let me just uh, put one final challenge out to anyone now. If you listen, what would you think of me now if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book? What would you do if I said Harry Potter is the worst book in the world? What would you think of me? You'd laugh at me. What if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? Then you're a sausage. You're a sausage, are you? Okay, well, you'd say read it first and then make a judgment. Now, I'll give anyone a portion of the Bible for free. Is all you've got to do is take it from my hand. Read it first and see, does it make sense? Just take it from my hand. If you're not too embarrassed to take it from a street preacher with ginger beard today at Christmas time, take it. Now, friends, uh, as you can see on this board, I've got some uh, different people who said famous things. It's who said that? Now, I'm going to ask you, can you, do you recognise any of these people? So I'll give you a clue. These faces here, each of them said one of these things. Do you know who said that? Who said that? So, uh, first one, who do you think said that? I laugh in the face of danger. Ha, 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 ha. Who do you think said that? The devil. The devil? He didn't say that. No. Nope. I'll give you a clue, this man here. Have you seen The Lion King? Oh, was it? Simba, Simba, that's right. Simba said that, I laugh in the face of danger. What about this one, okay? You might recognize this one. The truth is, everyone's going to hurt you. You've just got to find the ones who are worth suffering for. Who said that? Bob Marley, you're dead right, you're right. Bob Marley said that. Here's a bit of an interesting one. I don't know if you recognize, you're going to recognize this one. If you like YouTube, you'll know this one said that. PewDiePie. You're right. <laughs> be nice to people. Maybe one day they'll be rich. Because PewDiePie, when he was young, he got bullied. Be nice to people. One day they'll be rich. Okay, last one. This is for everyone in Yorkshire. I'm asking you, can you guess who said that? I wonder what the people of Yorkshire think of this person. If you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. Who said that? Why? I'll say it again. If you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. That Who old said... woman there, that's quite interesting. That old woman there, yeah. She's called Margaret Thatcher. She said that, okay? <laughs> now let me put a bit of a spanner in the works for you now. Let's, let's just throw something out there. Who do you think said this? Love your enemies. Sherlock, Sherlock didn't say that. Love your enemies. Now let me put a challenge to you. Imagine if all the people in Iraq Imagine if all the people in Afghanistan, in Iran, in America, in North Korea, if everyone took these words, love your enemies, would there be any wars anymore? What do you think? There wouldn't, would there? I'll tell you who said it, Jesus Christ. And people say to me all the time, religion causes lots of wars. Religion causes tons of wars. Who's this Jesus? He speaks rubbish. But when he said, love your enemies, was he speaking truth? He was, wasn't he? That's a good thing that he said. Did you know this, friends? Look at me now. Everyone look at me. Jesus had enemies. Though he fed the poor, though he helped the sick, though he did amazing things, do you know what the world did to him? They spat on him. They smashed a crown of thorns into his skull and they nailed him to a cross. They stripped him naked, dying there in front of his own mother. Now, I can think of many ways I'd like to go, but I'll tell you for free, that is not one way I would like to go. Jesus, on that cross, took your sin. 
your sin, put him on the cross. You might look nice on the outside, but inside our hearts are black and we've all done wrong, haven't we? We've all done bad things. And that's why Jesus died on that cross. He loved you enough to see you on that cross. There he was, taking the sins of the world so you and I could be forgiven. It's not just about the crib, it's about the cross. Do think about Jesus today, the one who can wash you white than snow, the one who loves you, the one who died for you. He cares for you today. Please call out to him today. God bless you all. Thank you for listening. If anyone else wants a, a copy of the Bible, a portion, please just take it from my hand completely free.